Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. All right, just winging it. Don't really have much time. About 17 minutes to talk. Everything is uploading slow, so <laughs> just got to do the best I can. But uh, yeah, man, the Golden State gone. Only semi surprise because they <clears throat> they really couldn't withstand any more uh, Clay Thompson bad games, and he had his worst game the worst time we talked about it last night in my reaction in short I just don't think they should bring him back at a price that he's going to be pleased with and because of it I think there's a decent chance he may consider retirement when he finds out just how poor the market may be for him or the fact that he probably is getting pushed out of Golden State right now I, I could totally see him just opting to retire man sad to a degree I mean I'm a Laker fan so I ain't no love lost really but Clay's a likable guy, you know what I mean? Splash Brothers have been legends. I think he's a Hall of Famer, but I do think, I genuinely think that he may have actually fell behind some shooters uh, all time uh, just this year with some of the bad shooting. He might have hurt his legacy. Because when you start comparing him to Reggie Miller and Ray Allen and Dirk Nowitzki and those guys, you really didn't see them play at a low level like him. Now, obviously, he has more rings than those guys, and he can always point at that. But he really hurt his team at a really bad time. And it's been really, really bad all season long. Ever since the D injury, really. So I don't know, man. I, I don't know how that goes. But in my mind, he really is doing damage to his legacy. As it pertains to where he falls in the pecking order with other legendary shooters. He's hurting himself. And... Um, I think he should stop the bleeding. I really do, man. A part of me really thinks he should retire. And it ain't because I don't think he can have big games. It's just that throughout the course of an 82-game schedule, I don't believe he can have enough good games to make it make sense. I really don't. He might have 10 good games in a season left in him, but what made Clay Clay was his ability to be significant on the defensive end and then ridiculous on the offensive end hitting shots without having to dribble at all. If that isn't a part of his game, then what are they paying for? And if he's not going to be able to do that anymore, then what is he doing out there? You see what I'm saying? That's what it really comes down to. When you got these young guys in the Golden State team, they have more to offer at this point. When you consider Moses Moody and the upside that he has on both sides of the floor, he should, in theory, have more to offer at this point than Clay. Um, you know, you talk about Pajemski and his ability to hit shots and rebound the ball. Should, in theory, with the minutes given, do more than Clay at this point. And so that's what it really comes down to for me. If Clay can't be Clay, but he's going to demand a certain amount, I don't know how much of his ego is going to come into play as it pertains to what he's going to expect from the market. But if he tests the market, I got a feeling he's going to have he's going to have his feelings hurt. It's going to happen that way. He's going to get significantly less than what he feels he deserves. They're not going to give him legacy money. I don't believe. And he's going to end up having to take significantly less uh, to play basketball from here on out. And the expectations are going to be lower. He's going to be asked to come off the bench. I just don't think he wants to go out like that. This is somebody who's used to winning championships, being very, very productive in the process. And I don't. I don't think he should do it. I really don't. If he can't get a price that makes sense, don't just take $5 million to play basketball from here on out. I don't think so. I don't think so. Especially for a team like Orlando or something like that. He shouldn't go out like that. He really shouldn't. Now, if a team's going to be a patsy and pay him what he expects to make, then obviously you got to test the market for the sake of that. But I just don't think the market's going to be kind to him, especially after that in, uh, play-in game. I don't. I think he, he hurt himself bad in, in regards to money. I think that. So we're going to see what Clay do, man. We're going to see if the, the Splash Brothers is over or if, if, if the Golden State Warriors are going to give him legacy money. I mean, I just don't think the Warriors can afford to do that with Steph Curry still in rare form, still capable of winning a championship with a good good team around him. I just don't think you really can afford to do that. The only reason why I would do that is if he demanded, yo, I want out unless you play my, my guy his money. And if that's the case, then you just let him go down with the ship if you care to do that, which I would because I'm not losing Steph Curry if I'm going to stay for a million reasons, including winning. But if he's tired of Clay's nonsense, Clay ain't coming back. 
If he's tired of this type of crap and he don't believe in Clay no more, Clay ain't coming back. It's that simple. So I just don't think Clay should go through that. I don't think he should even put himself through that. I think it can embarrass him. We know how sensitive he can tend to be. And everybody likes Clay. I like Clay, but it can't be about whether or not I like you or not. If I'm gonna give you a good portion of my cap while I still got these young guys to develop, but you, you think I'm supposed to pick you over with him at this point? I just that's not good. That's not good for the Golden State Warriors, in my opinion. And like I said, the market ain't gonna be kind to him. I don't think he's gonna get no 25, 30 million dollars from a team like the Lakers, like he would prefer if he had to leave Golden State. I just don't think that's gonna be available to him. You know, I don't know if he's a minimum guy, but. I don't think I'd pay him more than $12 million to play basketball anymore. $12 million a year. You know, because that's the kind of production that I've seen. And, you know, I don't want to rely upon him if I'm if I'm a team. I don't I don't want to give him so much of the cap that I need him to play well. I need him to play 30 minutes a game. I don't, I don't think that's good for any team at this point based on what he's shown us over the last two years. So, yeah, man, I, I, could, I could totally see him calling it a career. I could totally see him doing that. Go out. Obviously, he would like to go out on top as a champ. Obviously, he'd like to go out not being having played 0 for 10. But you got to understand, he's continuing to hurt his legacy by continuing to play like this. And I don't think that he can play much better than this as he's continuing to age after the multiple knee surgeries. I, I just, I don't think he's going to get the money that he's asking for. It's just all bad, man. It's all bad from where I'm sitting. Unless he can find a patchy who will pay him. And maybe you'll find one. You won't know unless you ask. And so, you know, but if he don't like what you see in free agency, I'd probably call it a career, bro. Just retire a Golden State Warrior. You're definitely going up in the rafters. You're definitely going in the Hall of Fame. None of that's up for debate. But cut your losses as it pertains to doing damage to your individual career as a shooter. Yeah, he was a great shooter for a long time. And he is amongst the greatest shooters ever. But it was arguable that he was number two or number three all time. I don't think I can legitimately say that anymore after the last two years he had, man. I just don't. You can really do damage. And a lot of people say, well, Clay's done. At this point, it's the knee injury. Yeah, but you can really do damage to your legacy, man. It's not as simple as, oh, well, we're just going to write off these last couple years because he's done. No one's going to do that. Not with a shooter. <laughs> no. And so that's why I think he should consider how much that matters to him versus how much money he's expected to get versus how much he's going to get. The fact that he's probably going to have to leave Golden State if he doesn't accept whatever they offer him. He's going to, to take a lesser role. All of that is just bull crap if, you go, if you're Clay Thompson. None of that. None of that. I don't think his ego is going to want to accept any of that. I really don't. I think his ego will probably accept retirement before he, re he accepts all of that. And so that's my take on Clay. I just I think it might be a wrap, man. I think it might be a wrap. And if it is a wrap in Golden State, I think he should retire for sure. I don't think he should go put on another uniform. I really don't. Not unless he's going to get that super payday, baby. Super payday. So that's pretty much all I got to say, man. I'm going to leave it at a Clay video, man. My name is BDL44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.